Hi, I am Victor Paredes and I want to show you how to use the new sketch bones tool coming with Anime Studio 11 too. So to use this tool I will create a very simple shape using the blob brush. So let's just create this thing. Okay, so I have this and I will put this inside a bone layer. Okay, and now I will select the bone layer and you can see now I have this tool called sketch bones so I will select this tool and this tool is very easy to to use if you draw a line here bones will be created from that line so you can see I have several bones and the software automatically create that chain uh, by using the line now I will undo this and you can see here you have the new bone length option so in this case is 0.1 I will put 0.2 because I want bigger bones so now I will draw my line and you can see now I have bigger bones okay so now if you create this line it contains uh, several bones so if I use the manipulate bone tool it is a little hard to animate all these bones because the chain is too complex okay of course you can't I mean of course you can but it is hard to do so with the new sketch a sketch bones tool I can create the bones but I can also animate that bones so if I go for example to frame 24 you can see these circles here and now if I draw the line again I am animating these bones so you can see how I can animate and create different shapes from the same bone so it is a, a very new way to animate you just draw a line and the character will be adapted to that line so there is another feature here I will delete these keyframes you have the option to scale the bones so scale bones is also very easy to, to use when you are drawing a line you can see the entire line coming uh, or being shown in the in the screen if I go beyond that line it means the bones will be scaled to get the new line so you can see how I can create longer bones by just drawing and of course if I if my line is shorter than the original one I will have a shorter bones so this option works much better when you select the bones uh, with the select bone tool and go to the bone constraints which by the way are now at the left of the screen so you go to the bone constraints and you select a squash and a stretch scaling so I close this and now I will animate again and you can see how I have a squash and a stretch when I drawing this bone so I have new effects to apply this so for example I have here a very simple character and I can animate the tentacles by just drawing this so another feature here is you can select any point or you can start from any point of the line so you don't need to start from the from the start you can start from the middle so I can draw this here okay and maybe I don't want all that scale here so you can see I am just animating this okay and I can make the same with the head so the head also has a squash and a stretch so I can squash my head and stretch it to the other side so I have this okay so you can see it is a very new way to animate and it is very fun to use and I, it, it is also 
very powerful and very useful so i hope you like this new feature and thank you for watching bye